Good morning. Good morning, everyone. I'm in Scrambury Coop and I want to test something today and I'm going to do it live in real time. So there's no rehearsals here. Live, it's happening. Somebody, I was talking with someone last night and say, live, this is not a rehearsal, it's a real time. So, how to experiment. Yesterday, somebody came and bought a Dixie Bell paint for us for their background, for their canvas. So, today I'm gonna experiment with you on this canvas and let's find out together. I haven't tested it yet. So, here we go. Brushes, they're wet. I check my water, it's here. I've got my two colors that I'm gonna use. It's uh, the new caviar. It's a new caviar. It's black, black, black. So I'm at Scrambury Coop. You might hear a lot of noises on the background because we have busy shop. We have lots of customers. So I have my iPad here so I can read your comments and try to answer them in real time because it's very difficult to read it here. I just turned 50s. Yeah, we get much more filtering now as we're getting growing old and getting smarter. And our biology, it's a very smart, very, very smart. Let me see how to find you here in real time. I'm gonna try to share this on my page. How I do that here on the phone. I'm figuring things out. We're all figuring things out. So let's see if I go on my Facebook here. If I'm gonna see this is coming. Sweater. What is happening here? Let's see. Okay, if I don't find it now, I will find it another time. Thank you, Pamela. Yes, this is my funky creative shirt. I used to wear only black. I used to wear a lot of blacks and I felt very, very safe um, in black. Okay, let's me. Okay, there's no. Okay, everyone. Oh, okay, so. I used to wear. Okay, so I'm on here. I can see your comments now and I will try to answer each comment. So what I'm gonna do, oh, I have my canvas and I'm gonna do two colors as a background. So imagine you wanna paint. There are people shopping behind. This is behind me. It's the leather shop. It's awesome. You have to check it out. So here, I'm taking my wet, wet, I've got my water, always have my water and I always have my spray bottle to work with. So, this is the driftwood color that I'm gonna set as a background if you wanna uh, do a sky. So, I'm experimenting here. I haven't done this. An artist came and bought a Dixie Bell paint and so I'm gonna always do that. I'm gonna prepare the canvas as a background and let's see. And if some of you are artists and have tried doing a background with a chalk paint, please do share. Okay, so background that you can start to work with your acrylic. And I'm gonna test this for you. I don't know if it's gonna work. I suspect it's gonna work. But if we don't try, how would we know? So, I have to put here a little poster that I'm at Scranberry Coop. Yeah, that's another thing. So we learn as we go. As we go, we learn. So this is a driftwood. 
It goes smoothly. It needs some water and it's a chip brush for... We carry them here in the shop. It's a great brush to invest in. Um, and I'm working it out. And I can put a couple of uh, coats here. So, we're setting the background for canvas with Dixie Bell. I've tried it almost. I'm, I'm trying it constantly on something. I paint the fridge. I paint uh, the old Joey couch. was a very old veneer. I'm gonna, I tried it on leather. And with Lori, we are... We're working on a bag that is a leather bag. Awesome design. My favorite design of uh, McFarlane leather. And we're putting it. So I'm trying this paint on everything. Glass. Metal. And what is amazing, the finishes. The finishes are amazing. I'm just... So we see I got that. I'm gonna change my brush and then I'm gonna merge the colors. Let's see. Let's see. I love testing things. I'm not scared to make a mistake because there's no mistakes. I just say, oops, how sexy of me. I'm repeating this over and over again, but I love it. That is beautiful black, beautiful. It's a little watery. I should start with less water. Uh, it's a very rich black. Very rich and very deep and shiny. So, look at that. So we're gonna create and then I'm gonna merge them and meld them uh, to have a, a little fun. So we're setting the background of your canvas with Dixie Bell because the guy he came and he say Do you know I spent so much money on my background I spent a lot of money on my on ba my background um, somebody told me about Dixie Bell that it's very affordable and works great and has incredible colors and especially if you like abstract things like me, yes, modern art, just plain, just plain. And we are all artists in our own life because our life is an art, piece of art. Look at that. I probably will wait just a little bit for this to dry. And it dries for 10 minutes. 10 minutes while it's drying. Okay, I'm going to show you. So I've got another project. I've got tons of projects here at the same time. So while I'm waiting for something to dry, I'm going to show you another cool project I'm working. Just bear with me. So what I'm going to do here, I'm going to blend it a little bit with the first brush with... Um, with the driftwood color, I'm gonna just blend the colors here. Just playing here. I even don't know what is gonna happen here. All right. Okay. Yeah, even Joey get painted. Oh, love it. Look at that blending. While wow, it's wet, so we can create a, a little background. How pretty, how pretty. I might paint a tree on top of it and I'm gonna do it with Dixie Belle. So look at that. Whoa. You see how you just get the previous, the lighter color and it's gonna work itself. We can set an incredible background for any project and from here as we set the background we can create amazing things because nature does not have a straight line 
Yes, it blends nicely, Pamela. Yes, I love not planning. It's just spontaneous creation as we are created spontaneously. Look at that. Look at that. I love it. I marvel in creation. Okay. I wonder what is going to happen. But I love it. I'm going to set it up a little bit higher here because I love this merging. And this is what I was talking this morning. Merging, melting. And this itself, it's a conversational piece. There's no straight line. There's not any more black and white. You all heard the how many shades of gray. So this is what is happening, merging the inner and the outer, the above and below, what what is within, so it's without. We are merging, merging time, melting, blending. So this is a very good example of my video that I did this morning. Yes. Okay, merging, melting. I'm going to leave this on a side. Look at that. I just need here probably one sun and probably a white, a very white sun here with the white and nothing else. And that's it. Art, piece of art. Okay, maybe I'll auction it. Yeah. And work a little bit more on this. Sometimes less, it's much more. But do you see the light here, right in the middle? I'm going to put a little sun. Okay. Let me see your comment. And you have a fresh Canadian artist. When I owned the gallery, who never knew what she's going to paint. Yes, that's me. She painted on aluminum with her hands. But I do use my hands a lot. Yes, we are all artists and we're giving each other permission to go and experiment and try. So, I'm going to leave this to dry and show you my next project because I have them a lot here. This is my little hiding room. Actually, it's not really hiding. Um, it's... I took half of and leather room yes I admit it I took half of it because I have my water right here and here's my place where I do a little projects I'm preparing something we're doing a lot of changes at Scramberry Coop you will see them soon uh, we do a lot of changes um, Mike at Art Fellas I don't know who it's Mike but yes bring it on Yes, so my next project, I'm going to put this in the water, uh, these brushes, I'm going to put them in the water, and I have my other project ready to go for you, but I need some space, I'm going to close my paints here. So what I used in this was a caviar, and do you know how much paint it took me? half a spoon half a spoon and that size of this paint it, it's 13 dollars yeah 13 dollars so imagine with this one this is 30 dollars oh my god you can paint your whole room probably anyway i'm pushing it here but yes it takes very little I need to set this aside so I don't mess. So my next project, are you ready to see what I've been working on? It was again, very spontaneous creation. As you know, we have here so many dealers and yesterday I constant, I found somebody toasted. These are my favorite pieces. Thank you, Joyce. Yes, little blue. This is um, ash. Ash matte. I just ordered different colors. I've been trying to do highlights, but because I have a black hair, uh, it's very difficult. So I found this amazing ash. I even did a video with my friends with it, the blue hair. So we're gonna have these parties with 
doing and it's a very good um, wax it's a ash matte wax they've got gorgeous colors so all about colors at one point I was only black now I'm exploding so next project look at that little piece so this was toasted on the side was beaten so yesterday I painted yellow and this is I'm gonna show you the colors that I use it's a springtime look at that this is Daisy Daisy from Dixie Belle and then I have the golf the golf so I did so this can go two ways you can put it with the with the golf color to sit like this when you get tired of this you put it with the yellow on top you see it's a versatile whichever way you want to put it or you can put it like that or you can put it like this or like this whichever way you like it <clears throat> so I'm gonna start let's return it this way and I will show you what I'm gonna do I'm gonna distress it so I paint it and I don't do a very particular it's messy what I'm gonna do now I'm gonna sand it a little bit more so I get the the sanding one side I use for the yellow there was a white but I wanna go to the I wanna reach can you see can you see I wanna reach for the wood I wanna expose the wood so I will go and by the way if you wanna come and play with me Wednesday is the day where I'm gonna show you a lot of stuff it's an event bring your friend bring your drink come shop shop paint even if you never paint I'm not teaching you to paint I'm just helping you to tap into your artist unleash your artist you can see the shop you can see what's new I don't like that white part but let's see because what I'm gonna do after that I'm gonna put waxes and glazes and distress it so it's a it's a piece I start to distress it a bit and you can never go wrong I want a little bit of the wood to be exposed so we have uh, three colors here going on the yellow the blue and it's very it reminds me of spring and Easter and eggs and fuzzy and rabbit okay I like the look I like the feel look at that you like it a little distress not much especially the corners the corners are the corners will make a huge difference as you distress them a little bit here let me turn that yeah here on the side where it wears more Yeah, if you have any question, now is the time. I can do this and answer your questions. Yes, it's a lovely piece. I don't know what I'm going to do it. Keep it or sell it. Either way, somebody's going to enjoy it. So, unleashing your artist. It's all it takes to take the jump. And start with from anywhere I recommend to start on a little piece something that you pick up from the side you have so many pieces something that you feel at home and instead of tossing it come talk to me there's so many 60 colors 60 colors I have uh, 
how to do book as well that I'm gonna give you as you, uh, when you buy your paints. I can give you ideas or you can go online. There are tons of videos that a lot of creative, beautiful people like me are been experimenting and there's so many tutorials online. Look at that. I love that this it's not even I wanna bring more of this. Okay, yeah, now we will help it. More distress. Yeah. I love that. Very organic. And all that is going on outside right now with distressing. I think it's like perfect lining. It's what's going on inside of us. So I'm connecting here dots. I love connecting dots together. So what is within, it's express without. We are becoming more flowing, more easy with ourselves, more forgiving, more loving. So I'm not going to distress much of this because under the yellow there was a white coat. So I'm just going to do the corners where I can show a little bit of the wood. Yeah. Let's see here. Do you know, Pamela, you don't need to know. You just start from somewhere. The, the whole thing is to start from somewhere. Doesn't matter where, what. I'm doing it and I'm trying to read your comments, ask me a question. I think I exhausted this. Do you know where I send it from the blue side? I can bring some. You just have to decide where you're done. It's just you have to decide. So, yeah, I'm gonna do a little bit this side. I don't care anymore which side I'm doing because the colors are blending and it's creating a very nice feel. With this paint, watch, it's nice. You don't need to sand much. It's like other paints that I've been trying, you have to really, really sand hard. This is very little. And there's a, a wet way to distress this. So, if you want to stay with me and see the waxing, or you can tune later on, I'm going to post pictures of this piece. I'm gonna wax it. I'm gonna use the grunge. Grunge. This is a glaze and look how it starts. It starts with, let me see, I had a brush that I started. You take the grunge and you just do it and leave it a little bit and then wipe it and it brings a 3D. It brings a little depth. Yes, um, I'm experimenting with... Oh, you see, it gives that depth, 3D, very beautiful glazed finishing. I might work with this, but I'm gonna as well experiment with uh, with brown wax the brown wax is gonna bring it even more and then maybe on top of the brown wax we can do the glaze so uh who is here let's see uh, i've got 
few people watching. Uh, if you are more interested, talk to me or come on Wednesday and let's play more. So this is from me now. I'm going to post this on, on Scrambery Coop page. Have an awesome day and say hello when you come to the shop.